Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Diaries. I'm your host, Martin Lang, and we're here at Death in Texas. Today, we're going to be talking about McCallum. McCallum, 12 year old, is basically the Rolls Royce of whiskies. Uh, they spare no expense and they make some of the best whiskies in the world and some of the most expensive as well. The reason why they produce this excellent whiskey is because of the wood program. I mean, you cannot talk about Macallan without talking about the wood or the barrel program, uh, however you want to call it. Basically, is the way they approach uh, the, 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 how they source the barrels, how they produce the barrels, what sort of oak they get and all that stuff. And they produce many, many different versions from like the one that I have here, that is the sherry oak, 100% sherry oak. Then they do the phenos, that is American oak. And then they do a triple barrel, a double barrel that they, they have been experiencing. Uh, a lot of different ways of using sherry and oak uh, over the over the course of the distillery's history. Today we're only going to be talking about the, the wood program and not so much about the history where they come from, but just because McAllen is basically the leaders that they lead the pack on 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 the quality of the barrels. Um, they source all the barrels. They have a special special deal with Jerez in Spain, in which they source uh, all all. All the sherry cask and actually it's one of the only distilleries uh, that has still a steady supply of uh, Spanish uh, European oak um, that is um, it's very rare nowadays we'll go into a history of how barrels are made in another episode but just so you know like around the 70s and the 80s all the sherry was being uh, exported to the UK. In the UK, they used to bottle, the, the, empty the barrels, and then because they couldn't resell it, they were lying around, so the distillers were taking it. Um, so the distillers started using it, and then McAllen was one of uh, those uh, only distillers that found the value on those sherry casks and kept using it over the over, during the 80s and the 90s. Uh, then in the 90s and early 2000s, sherry sherry casks and ex sherry barrels uh, became really really popular because they actually add a very particular flavor to the whiskey itself um, so they a lot of distillers are starting really really claiming this but McAllen uh, basically had the foresight uh, of uh, establishing really good, good relationship with all the all the wine all, all the sherry production in Spain um, today we're gonna just be trying the, the three core range of the 12 year old uh, the first one is the sherry oak cast. This is a 100% sherry. It's one of my favorites, and it's a shame because in Australia, the 12-year-old that you get for sherry cask is uh, actually 40%. Uh, the American version that is 12-year-olds as well is 46%. And if you can get your, ha your hands around uh, that version, the, the, the one that goes to America uh, or to, to Europe in itself, uh, please, please uh, make sure you do because it's an incredible whiskey, and the 46% alcohol brings the sherry a lot stronger and it's a lot better whiskey um, but this one's still really really good so that's the first one is the the, the, the 12 year old sherry oak uh, then they do then we have the double mature the double cask that is basically sherry uh, and American oak but both of them are sherry cask so what happened as well uh, later on like for a long period of time uh, sherry actually has been made sherry cask have actually been made with American oak uh, so and some of uh, a lot of the other sherry has been made with uh, Spanish oak or European oak. Now both of them uh, have different qualities, um, but they both basically get seasoned with sherry. This one, the double oak, it's uh, both uh, has been seasoned with sherry, but uh, one of them is American oak and the other one is uh, European oak. Uh, so this is 12 year old as well, and then the other one is a. A, a, a triple cask mature that is basically ex bourbon uh, casks, which basically is American oak that had bourbon in it and then gets aged uh, with whiskey. Then you get the same one of this one basically uh, American oak and European oak, both uh, cask seasoned with sherry. We're going to go through the whole barrel and, and, and all of it. All of the things that they do with the sherry casks um, in in another episode just to go more in depth but that's basically uh, the core range for McCallum. Now something important to say about uh, this whiskies as well is that it's not only the 12 year old obviously they do a 15 year old an 18 year old a 20 year old there's a 25 there's a 30 uh, McCallum does a lot of different ages. McCallum also has been uh, nominated in 2014 as well and actually quite recently as well, some of the, one of the most expensive whiskies ever sold. Uh, one of the bottles sold for uh, up to 75,000 pounds, 
but uh, they keep creating really, really, really incredible expensive whiskies. Uh, and the flavor profile that these whiskies present is just delicate, complex at the same time. So we're gonna try today, my favorite of all times is the Sherry Oak. Um, as I said, if you can get your hands on the American version or the one that is 46%, please do. The label is different, the color is different, it's a lot redder, like it's a lot darker as well. Uh, and it's a, it's a great whiskey. It's a shame that because of uh, Australian taxation, taxation laws, um, they can't, it's really expensive to bring that sort of ABB into Australia. Uh, but yeah, so 40% full sherry casks, and that's what you expect from a sherry, uh, sherry cask. Those tanning, that's the, the, that chewiness that you get from a, even on the nose, you go 100%, that's sherry. You can always, you can always taste it. And yeah, there it is, uh, absolutely beautiful. It has an ex excellent front palate, mid palate, back palate. It's a, it, it dies a little bit in the end, uh, and that's because of the 40 ABV. Again, if you have the 46, it just carries through a lot more, but it's still delicious. And if you can get your hands around it, uh, you will really, really enjoy it. Thank you for listening, Slangeba.